Howdy, folks. I am out on a lovely day. The sun just came out, and it's about 75 degrees, so pretty nice, a little breezy. And I've come out to one of my favorite little parks out here. I ain't been here in a good long while, actually. And figured I'd fish this little creek that kind of runs all down through it. Water's lower than uh, I'd expected or hoped for because it just rained last night. But you can normally find a good amount of sun fishing here and the occasional random bass. So figure, hey, worth a shot on the way home. Stop in 35 minutes, maybe an hour. Who knows? Depends on the bite, I guess. Plus, I could stand to go for a little walk. So with that, let's hop to it. <clears throat> Alrighty then. For some reason, I still have not put my light action gear back, or my ultralight gear back in the car. So I'm working with my uh, five and a half foot light action GX2. Tied on a little eighth ounce rooster tail, gold. It's pretty beat up, which is why I'm starting with it because uh, I lose a lot of lures in this area, as you can tell. There's a lot of trees around, a lot of stuff in the water, a lot of things to get snagged up on. So, figure, start with something I don't mind losing. Yep, that didn't take, oh, he let go. I say it didn't take long, but it didn't stay on the hook. Must have been, must have been smaller. There's a large school of sunfish right there. They're just not super interested. I think I'm gonna go that way <clears throat> on the creek today, at least at first. With the water being so low, I know I'm not gonna have a lot of deeper pools going down the pathway. But I know the water gets deep down on that side. So we'll try it first. A couple bass in the water right here. Aren't super interested. I guess I should put on some kind of little jigging lure. Maybe it's just too hot for these fish to want to chase something around. You know what, why not? Let's switch out to something different besides just throw a rooster tail all damn day. Let's try something new. Alright, new plan. I got one of my little crappie jigs out here. Not rigged up the best, but I think it'll, it'll get the job done. There's going to be some bass cruising around. They'll definitely like it. And uh, you know, some of the bigger sunfish should be interested in it as well. Oh, there were there were some bites right there. Okay. Ah. Something had it. Let it go. <clears throat> Yeah, these little fish are grabbing a hold of it, but they can't can't quite eat it. Which is what I thought the problem would end up being. Ah, they ripped the claw off. Well, that's a risky take. I'll see if I can <clears throat> still get it to work with just the one. Little fish are getting it again. I got a stick. It's not what we wanted. And my other claw got ripped off. I wonder if that'll still work like that. Be a little ridiculous, but I bet you a trout would eat it.
doesn't look like anything cares without the claws. Crap. I'm not really having much luck so far, but I can see in the water here a pretty big weight. I don't know why anyone would be using a weight this big in this tiny little creek. Like, I use a weight this big in the river. Let's see if I can. Come on. It's got a big old, uh, what are they called? Ugh, whatever. It's not worth my time. Oh, is that string tied to it? Maybe. Come here. Thing. There we go, finally. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's stuck right there. This is like 30 pound freaking damn it, I lost it. Yeah, that's like an ounce and a half weight with a 30 pound line attached to it. Why is anyone using something like that in here? Ah, this is not working. Alright, next on the list, the good old Bitsy Minnow, which has already tangled its hooks up. The worst thing about the Bitsy Minnow is that it tangles its hooks up. But this is one of the best little creek, lure, creek fishing lures that you could really ask for. So we may as well give it a try, because uh, nothing else worked yet. I saw bass trying to eat some minnows, so maybe something that looks like a fish will be more appealing to them. Oop. Finally got something. What do we got? Ugh. Little, little bitty, tiny, long-eared sunfish, who somehow got all three hooks. What is with long-eared sunfish? They are some of the worst about getting the most hooks in them on lures that they shouldn't be trying to chase down, really. But we finally got a fish for the day. And I'll start with one of the prettiest ones I could have got. If I could ever get... Come on. This thing just doesn't want to go. Just one hook left in there. There we go. Little long-eared sunfish. Get out of here. Alright, I think it's time to head up the hill. Hopefully it's not too overgrown. It can get a little crazy up here. Didn't really get managed. Oh yeah. Real overgrown. Someone's been walking around back here. Alright. See how long this lasts. Little two inch ribbon tailed grub on like a sixteenth ounce jig head. Jig head small enough for uh, the fish I'm after here. But it's also so light that it makes it difficult to cast on a rod like this because it's 
it's a light action rod. I can kind of get it out there. Luckily, you know, it's not a huge creek, but. There we go. There we go. Pretty nice bluegill. I didn't even feel that bite. I was I could see my lure in the water and it just completely vanished all of a sudden. So I just figured I'd try and set the danged hook and lo and behold. Come on. Thing's really up in there, ain't it? Normally I can get these out pretty easy. Oof. that ha there we go there pretty decent little bluegill go back over that way seeing some okay bass cruising around through here i just don't know what they're interested in it certainly ain't this There's another one. There we go. All right. Getting turned on to some nice bluegill now. <clears throat> Come on now. There we go. He's a little fella. Hanging out over by that tree, it seems, which I suppose makes sense. They're just like trees. It's a nice fish right in front of me. Ha! See a fish, drop it on his head, catch him. That is a good bluegill. Uh oh, uh oh, no, stop it, stop it. There you go. Pretty good one. Nice colors. I just watched that fish poking around. I dropped it on his head and he came back and grabbed it. Oh. oh I got a fish on him. I wasn't even paying attention. I was just dead sticking it there. Another nice little bluegill. There we go again. Cut on the plant. Get out of the plant, please. All right, bring the plant to me with the fish. Yep, there we go. Another decent little bluegill. Yeah. And that'll about Ooh. I could probably get another couple uses out of that. A little white grub, pretty beat up, so I switched it out. Decided to go with a more natural approach, this nice green watermelon color. I won't be able to see it as well out there, but the water is uh, fairly clear so maybe they'll like a more natural presentation color wise at least oh yeah i can't see that thing at all it's nice with the white one i could kind of see where it was or if anything was chasing it or whatnot not this one I have to go all on feel ah well, they definitely liked it. Once I found where some fish were at, let me go back over there. Maybe they'll, they'll still like it. They grabbed it the second it hit the water, but not enough for me to get a hook in them. I 
There we go. There we go. Another bluegill. Ah. All right. Seems to be the main forage over in this area, I guess. Got my tail. No wonder. Don't. They don't like it when there's no tail to grab onto. Take our broken. Well, it's not. I could probably still use it, but I'm going to call it broken. Remember, always put your soft plastics back in your bag. Don't just throw them out. Because things will still eat them. Stick with the green for now. You don't want a bunch of just soft plastics hanging out, fish eating them off the bottom, they can't digest them, clogging their bowels, just killing them off. It's not recommended. Plus, if you're just throwing them on the ground, you're kind of a giant asshole. So don't be a giant asshole. What's going on here? How did this happen? I hate when this happens. It never makes any damn sense to me. There we go. Well, I hit it immediately again, but I didn't hold on to it. They just kind of slap it when it hits the water and let go. Seems to be what they do every time I cast over there. I'm not sure what's going on. There we go. Ah, uh, great. All up in the bushes right here. Ooh, ooh. That's a nice long-eared sunfish. Very, very nice. Pretty, fat, wide. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'll take you. You're a good fish. Thank you. All right, that's pretty good. That's probably going to be the highlight of the day. There we go. Oh boy. Look at the size of that bluegill. All right. Big old chunk of a bluegill. He's pissing all over me. Aha! Uh -huh. Back where we got our first fish. Let's see if we can get our last one here, too. Well, I got a rock. That's not ideal. Alright, well, give me a minute. Apparently I'm running low on my little baby jig heads, but I uh, still got this one, little white head with an orange eye. Decided to put on a uh, gray sparkly one. I haven't tried this color yet. Figure switching things up, trying different approaches. The uh, little, little grubs are working the best. Let's see what colors they like the best. Green did pretty all right. White caught a few fish. Let's see how gray and sparkly does. Holy shit, a gar. Hello, gar. Oh, that's a bad cast. It's gonna be so hard to hook a gar on this jig head. We gotta try. He's getting out of the range where I can cast. And he's under the tree. I don't know where he went now. I mean, he's probably still on this far bank under the tree, but I can't see him, and it's really hard to throw over there. All right. Before I go, I am going to walk over to that tree. Ooh. First, is there anything right here? Yep. If something was right there. Hey, we got a green sunfish. 
little deep spot, a little overhang, a little green sunfish. Thanks, bud. All right, I gotta go over to that tree because I saw that gar go under it. I don't know if it went anywhere else. Last I saw it was over here on the shore. It could have kept going and be like back up into the trees and all the way through the creek now, but I gotta come over here and check. <clears throat> Never been able to walk over here before because usually there's trees and stuff, but looks like someone cut it all down. There's some baseballs and trash and all kinds of things everywhere. Well, I don't see the gar. He very easily could have just kept cruising up into there. But I've also not been able to throw around over here too well, so may as well. Is that a carp? There's something right there just hanging out. What am I freaking looking at here? Something that cares about lures. That's definitely a fish. What is it? It's not moving at all, no matter what I throw around it. I don't maybe it's not a fish. Maybe I'm an idiot. Ooh, whatever it is. Oh, I was on it for a second. What was that? I'm gonna guess that was some kind of giant sucker fish or carp or something. I don't, I don't know. Well, the GoPro keeps uh, overheating and won't stay on anymore. And I broke off, so I think I'm gonna call it there. Overall, I mean, I wasn't here super long. Check my phone right quick. Okay, I was here longer than I thought. Uh, I was here for about an hour and a half. But, you know, ugh, it only felt like I was here about 40 minutes. And time flies when you're having fun. But I caught some okay fish. I caught three different types of fish. I saw some pretty large bass, which I was surprised by. I'm talking like two pounders, which is big for a creek bass. Uh, and I foul hooked into that weird other fish that I'm just going to assume is some kind of carp. But it was hard to spook that thing. So, overall, nice little time on the way home to work from work. Well, I'll call it a win, and I'll catch y'all next time.